PSP stands for PlayStation Portable. At least, that's what it used to stand for. Now it stands for PlayStation Portal. Tragic, isn't it? Let's talk about what we do know about the PlayStation Portal. It's a $200 device designed to stream your own games from your own PS5. It sports an 8-inch LCD display at 1080p 60Hz. All of this affixed to what is essentially two DualSense halves, complete with all of the features that you would expect on a DualSense controller. As for the lack of trackpads, the touchscreen can be used as your trackpads. And yes, it's got a headphone jack. It connects to your PS5 using your Wi-Fi connection. And yes, if you've got a Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to your PS5 and play away from home. Let's talk about some of the benefits. I'm sure it's going to be easy to use. Now let's talk about the negatives and just stuff I don't like. The entire concept of this handheld feels incredibly flawed. It's a cloud device with less functionality out of the box than a Logitech G Cloud and we all know how much that one sucked. Yes, there were PlayStation Portal leaks earlier that suggested that this would run Android. Just because it runs Android doesn't mean it's necessarily capable of doing many things. You don't even know what kind of hardware is in here. And furthermore, there's a good chance that you may need to quote unquote jailbreak your PlayStation Portal to do anything beyond playing your own PS5 titles. There's also a missed opportunity here. See, Sony runs their own cloud gaming service called PS Plus. There's multiple tiers of it, and you can even stream those games to whatever device you want. Except for the PlayStation Portal. I find that, in and of itself, ridiculous. Like seriously, Sony is releasing a cloud device, and they have a cloud service that you can stream games from. Why can't the PlayStation Portal play games from the PlayStation Cloud? That makes no sense. I'm sure if Microsoft made an Xbox Cloud, you could play games off of xCloud. The entire device's concept is a mistake, and it does even try to fight for its existence. Like, yeah, I'm sure it's more convenient than having having to affix a dual sense to a phone and then streaming to your phone from your PlayStation 5. But I'm gonna love with you. It probably isn't that much more convenient. This device makes even less sense in a post Steam Deck era. Like for an additional $200, you could buy a 64GB Steam Deck, which can not only stream games from your PS5 with the right software, but it can also play some of those games directly. You don't need to stream Elden Ring, Baldur's Gate 3, or any of these other games. You can just play them on your Steam Deck natively. Or if you're playing a game like Returnal, you can stream that from your own PC or your own PS5 too. Or for around the same price, you could buy an Ein Odin Lite. It's an Android-based retro handheld. You can emulate stuff, you can play Android games like the Android version of Genshin Impact. But most importantly, you can stream games, and not just from your PS5, but also xCloud, maybe your own PC. The point is that out of the box, a device like this would be more capable than the PlayStation Portal. Sony clearly knows people want a PS Vita 2 or a PSP 2 or some sort of PlayStation handheld. Like, you know, a dedicated handheld device. People have wanted that. I've wanted it for years. I've owned a PS 1, 2, 3, 4, PSP and PS Vita. I've had every PlayStation console, except for the PS5. That'll probably change at some point, but the point I'm trying to make is I want a PS Vita too. I want a new PlayStation handheld to play games on. And streaming will never be as good as playing games natively on the hardware. It doesn't compare. If you like this video, be sure to press the thumbs up button and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. And if you want to see more high-tech lowlife, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. And for you enlightened individuals, be sure to join my Discord server. And if you wish to support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description down below.